reason crab rings for the most part. So crab rings you have to pull fast. If not, here we go. Oh, two are in there. The small ones. Yeah, really small. They're small, but... See? There. Same female. Yeah. Oh. See how this is wide? That means female. Okay. So you can't keep it. But just for shits and giggles, this is how you were made, right? Put this on this and this. And it has to be five and three quarters, which is clearly way too small. Just over five inches. But also female. So, yes, plug the back in. Splash <laughs> down. Also female. And much too small. We have been crabbing all day. Eight and a half hours. Definition of the day. We have three crab, three dungeness. <laughs> just squeaked over the line as far as being legal, but they're yeah, legal. legal. So we're going to keep them. We have six crab pots out here. One of them seems to be our producing pot, and the others. Lackluster performance. <laughs> they're not doing so well. But as far as the weather today. Look at sunshine at the Oregon coast. spring day. We really can't complain. We're doing Beautiful. well with our with our three crabs. I think we may be outperforming everyone else that's on the pier. Somebody else has two. Honestly, the, the where we excel at crabbing is that we'll spend an inordinate <laughs> amount of money on our bait oh. to catch the crab. So we have ballpark, let's say $45 worth of crab that we've caught today. Baits we might be in this for. Actually, it's not bad. It's about fifteen dollars only. Fifteen on our bait, but we had to buy some rope and stuff, so we're not breaking even yet. If we could get a couple more crab, we could have a break-even situation here. But can't complain. The weather's so nice today. It's beautiful. Let's pull some crab pots. Okay. So for bait, we have chicken legs and beef heart. Why did why chicken legs and beef heart? Because it was cheap. It's 99 cents a pound. Yep. And a seagull tries to get it. Let's check another pot. Oh, something's in there. Oh, it's on the outside. And it's big. Oh, bring that puppy up. Oh, gentle, gentle. Male. That's a good sign. Oh, yeah, look at that. Crab dance. See, it worked. I did a crab dance and it worked. That's a fighter. He's big enough, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, one of his claws. See this? He's got a baby claw. Some, some people pull him up and then take their claws. Alright, let's measure. Oh yeah, oh, he's, yeah he's perfect. Big. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, don't pinch my oh, husband. Oh. Hey, so, we're made a full... Here, I'll just get the bucket up. I, I think... Like when we look at his legs, I think this guy uh, may have molten, so this is more of a soft shell. Yeah. So there's going to be less meat in here. Still plenty of meat, but less than these other guys. So what are you doing with the bucket? So this is a old laundry detergent bucket. I don't even know if it comes like this anymore. But someone told us years, many years ago, you get one of these buckets, you drill holes in it, and then you could keep your crab in the water. 
while you're still they stay alive. So toss them in there. Can you hold it up so you can see the difference in the color? On the back side, yeah. Oh yeah, this is an old guy, that's a newer guy. Yeah. But they all go together. Welcome to the party. Oh. Let's okay. check our other traps. Okay, ready? Ready. Everything happens to crabs as they come out of the water. They start out looking pretty big and then the higher up they get the smaller they look. Oh, female. female. Check it out. Oh yeah, got some guys in there. Females. Females. Verify. Yep. <laughs> we were just joking earlier. If you look at our crab pots, we have line that's ten dollars for like a hundred feet. If you look at the bucket where we keep our crab, <laughs> it's way thicker. Much thicker. <laughs> Is 
that we're at the part of the day. So we just hit high tide, gone through slack tide. Now the tide is starting to go out. So for us, like all these like bump outs on this side of the pier, our lines will go out with the tide and then get tangled on the pilings. So now we can't just sit and drink soda, have snacks. Now we have to actually pay attention to our lines. We don't want them to get wrapped around the pilings. It's just a hassle. Someone lost theirs earlier today. Yeah, it's pretty easy to lose your your gear. So got to pay oh, attention. Oh, there's a bald eagle. Oh, yeah. And there is where we're camping. Somewhere, maybe there. Except Cupcake is right down there at the end of the dock right now. There's a guy here yesterday who was out here with his dog and he was telling us, it was a tiny little dog, like a four pound dog, he was telling us he was concerned that one of the eagles might swoop in and swipe his dog. I was too, it was a tiny little dog. I was more like, well then keep your dog in the car. I know, plus it's a didn't say that to crack. Him. Look at these cracks. Well, okay, maybe a dog can't fit through, <laughs> but still, it could just get tossed over the side. Many years ago, we brought our dog here to go crabbing with us, but our dog stayed in the car while we were out here doing our thing. Yeah, we just took, her, took him out down there. I can't really imagine bringing a small dog out on him. Yeah. But hey, to each their own. That was a cute dog. Yeah. We ended up with five crab, and we stayed at this RV park specifically because it says it's a crab cooking and eating area. So we thought that meant they had a crab pot. It doesn't mean that. <laughs> yeah, looks like they used to, but they no longer do. So this last week, I got a pan at Goodwill to make some jelly with. Turns out it's gonna be a crab cooker. Um, we looked at a couple places here at the coast for propane burners so that we could cook them outdoors and we couldn't find one under like $150 and we did not want to pay that because we have a perfectly good one in storage that we left because we thought there was one here but there's not so because we only have a smaller pan um, I have to clean the crabs before we cook them it's not my most favorite way to prepare them, but I think it's fast and probably, hopefully, painless. So we're gonna pop their backs off and rinse them out, and then we'll be able to fit their crab halves into our cooking pot. So if you're squeamish, don't look at this part. What I'm gonna do is hold a crab by its legs and then I'm going to use a brick and lift its shell off all at one time. I only did this one time before. We read that it was a more humane way to kill them. And then I cried for a long time. So hopefully it will go a little better. <laughs> Want me to do it? No, it's okay. It's just easier to just drop them in the pot of boiling water and then they die instantly. And I think they will still die instantly, but I'm literally killing it. So that's a little different. Here we are. So five Dungeness crabs cleaned and ready to boil. We clean them ahead of time simply because we don't have the pot space inside to do five crabs at once. Here, we could probably do one crab at a time if they were live. So dispatched them, cleaned them. Now we can fit all this in here, same time. Doing it this way, it takes us about six, seven minutes to completely cook them. We do them live, like drop them in. It's probably 14, 15 minutes. So that's one pot boiling. Second pot, we're gonna bring to a boil. We're gonna cook some asparagus. Truthfully, we really didn't want to cook the crab legs here and cupcake. Humidity, number one, it's a lot of boiling for a long time. And number two, the smell. We've cooked seafood in here before, 
and we've cooked boiled eggs in here before. The smell lingers. So I really wanted to cook it outside. So we felt a little bit screwed over by the RV park, kind of advertising that they had somewhere to clean and cook when really all they had was an open space for us to clean and cook. I supposed to give a summary of what it's like to cook crab in the camper. Um, it was easy enough. Um, it looks good. We have crab cooked in lemon pepper because I couldn't find Old Bay the other day and crab cooked in artichoke water. <laughs> um, we ended up having to split it between two pots which is fine. And now we're going to taste it and see how it is. Don't mind my mess. Somewhere in storage we have crab crackers, cracks, things, pinchers, I don't know. We have crab cracking utensils in storage. And it only just dawned on me. None of that's here. So I guess we're using a fork and we'll see how it goes. That's it from us from Garibaldi, Oregon. We finished our crabbing, clamming, and muscle collecting. Now we're going to head down the road, going south. They're ready to eat. Planning to do a little more crabbing in Oregon. See you there.